All right, this is MRI man. So this video is going to be about um, difficult times that I had in MRI. I will start off with the, the first job that I had. It was through a staffing agency. And basically, I showed up to this place. They gave me like maybe two or three days to kind of show me their little protocols and all that. First day on the job, you know, I thought I was doing good. Did a brain, did a lumbar. You know, I'm just going through these scans, knee, and then I had a, a wrist. And I was like, okay. So, you know, usually how I do my wrist is like supine. No, sorry, not supine. On their stomach, you know, Superman style, right? That's how I do my, I, that's how I was trained to do my wrist. I never done it, you know, any, other, so that would be basically, basically like they're going in head first with their, their arm stretched out, right? So that's how I set it up, ran the scan. I don't know just wasn't working it was all black all black nothing 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 and I'm just like what the hell is going on I, I didn't know how to uh, troubleshoot you know I was like okay I got the right coil you know I was like man I didn't know what to do so I ended up basically um, telling the manager that the coils down and I, there's nothing I can do right now and <laughs> That was probably the dumbest thing I ever did. I could have just called the tech and asked them. Anyway, next day, um, the, the wrist is coming back, you know. They're going to come back. And I ended up just calling the other tech. I was like, hey, how do I, what's going on here? This is how I set it up. They're like, oh, you put them in Superman. We usually, we have it set till they have to go in feet first at their side you know wrist at the side i was like oh my god i didn't check the offsets i didn't check the way it was programmed in so you know felt like an idiot right there so that's how that problem could have been solved by just calling another tech and asking you know or you know you you learn more as you go you know you, you check your offsets you check the way uh it's position if it's supine prone obviously you can change these things um, feet first, head, feet first, head first, you know, you can change that, you know, so I learned that the hard way, um, there's just been other times where you're just trying to run your scan and it's just freaking failing and you don't know what to do. And I learned just not to panic, you know, there's been times where, um, uh, I'm scanning like an abdomen or something like that. And it says like calibration needed, you know, and you're just like, what the hell? You start dragging stuff over and then you open it and then it says no look found. You're just like, fuck, you know, you're just tripping out. And um, recently that was happening to me and I'm on a, a, a mobile trailer, which gets moved around a lot and we get different ones. And they brought this trailer, man trailer from hell basically and i had this patient on there and we needed to do this brain important brain so it runs the localizer and then it just fails like right after it won't scan the next scan and i'm just like man i'm doing everything i can you know i tried another brain coil not working not working just trying everything trying different um protocols not working not working so it's like just failing man i ended up having to call ge ge came out something called i think it was called a scan unit box or something like that they had to replace that and it's just like man it's so frustrating when you can't get things to go but you gotta just you know know when to tap out when to make that call um my biggest advice is to just to ask for help pretty much call it you gotta have even like text you don't work with anymore if you have different jobs just keep the number and you, you know you give them a call like hey this is not working for me and just don't be scared to to you know to learn pretty much man because there's times where i've like i had done like a contrast injection for uh i think it was like a breast scan and I went in there and there's like contrast kind of like leaking out on the floor and 
I looked at the images. It looked like there was contrast in there, but I should have had, I should have like asked the doctor if there was enough contrast in there because patient ended up having to come back. So it's like, you got to ask questions. Like, and I'm working on this trailer and I would say that I've probably had every kind of problem there is. Had the power go out and, you know, I have to like hit all these switches in the back, get the power back up, check on the patient. I had a patient come in doing an abdomen and this patient spoke like this indigenous language and also um we had to like translate we had to have like this translator there which was like um the daughter of the patient and it was crazy i had to have the daughter tell the patient when they're taking a breath and hold it through the microphone you know you just gotta you never know what you're gonna have to deal with here you know screaming crying kids I'm working at this other hospital. They put a, they had to put a kid under anesthesia just to scan her knee. Okay, um, so you just gotta troubleshoot. And I run into every any problem there is. You know, if I had my lift break while I was on, I was on it. It just wouldn't go down. Had to <clears throat> figure it out. Hit the emergency release button. Lower us down. Um, number one thing is just don't panic. Or I'd be scanning a brain, and like the pictures look like crap. Last week, I'm like, damn, the pictures look terrible. You know what I do? I just go in there, plug in, plug out. You know, check the coil, restart the machine, start with that. In my earlier days, I'd freak out and be stuck on a, stuck with a patient for like half an hour, just not knowing what to do. But I just start, you know, if I'm running into like something that, you know, oh, this freaking scans nine minutes you know i'll try to do all the parameters i can to lower it down or pull pull over other protocols um just you gotta just troubleshoot man if a protocol's not running pull over other things um you know occasionally you deal with difficult patients you know patients that don't want to go in there you know cover their eyes i never had any combative patients or anything like that um i'm working at a hospital now so i do got to deal with nurses and you know they have their little attitudes and power control and you know some of them are like oh that, this pacemaker is fine you know you have to put them in i'm like no listen a rep has to be here it's safe but they have to check it before or put it in this mode blah 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 you know so you know just mri that's your house you know stay calm